Well, President Trump's allegation that President Obama wiretapped him has triggered a wave of outrage and of denials. Obama himself hastily denied it. Congressional Republicans were wary, and even the White House has not supplied any supporting evidence so far. There's an awful lot going on. Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is here to explain it as always. So, Catherine, the, the most interesting part to me was the denials that came right. immediately mm -hmm. from the Obama camp, and they said, the President can't order wiretapping directly anyway, and we've never done this to an American citizen. We've never interfered in an investigation. What do you but I think, it's, I think it's important to really um, fact check that statement. Uh, it's technically correct that the White House and the President don't order surveillance of right. U.S. citizens, but it would happen through their FBI and their Justice Department, so if there was a surveillance order, it would happen on Mr. Obama's watch. Second, the claim that they never interfered in a federal investigation. I would argue that's patently false because throughout the Clinton email campaign, what we saw from Mr. Obama were multiple public statements where he seemed to put his hand on the scales of justice and he minimized the mishandling of classified information. He called it careless. He said yeah. national security was not impacted. And he said that it just didn't seem to rise to a national security issue. Well, those seem like <laughs> editorials in favor of one side, uh, right. of course. So a lot is kind of hanging out there, and we're wondering what this is about. Are, can we expect more detail from the White House about what they believe happened? I think they're going to wait for the committees to do their investigation specifically on this issue of whether there was an abuse of power. And I think it's important for people at home to know that some of the intelligence we're talking about, such as these transcripts between the former national security advisor, Mike Flynn, right. and the Russian ambassador, I've spoken to people who will go 30 years in the U.S. intelligence community, and they will never see an NSA transcript. That's because it's so closely held. So this was information at the senior most levels of the intelligence community that was leaked for, I would say, partisan purposes. It sure seemed that way. So mm -hmm. just to be clear, these are not just floating around. No, they're not floating around. And think about it like you're doing a story for television. You have all sorts of raw notes. Yes. You don't publish the raw notes. You just publish the finished product. That's how this works. The raw notes are the transcripts. The finished product is what is sent out to other agencies or Congress and the executive branch. So it's only a very small pool of people who have that raw information. And in this case, the transcripts and the fact that that was leaked to reporters, I mean, that's sort of a threshold we haven't crossed before. Yeah, and it kind of went without a lot of comment, weirdly. Catherine, thanks a lot for that. You're welcome. As always.